Hello, and this is Socrates for IM3D Graphics. Now that we've got our uh, image planes, let's go ahead and build our spline cage. First thing we're going to do is um, open up our previous program, so, or excuse me, object. Go into File, Load Object, which is our Bugatti object. So what that did is bring, brought in our perspective image panels, because that's all we had. Do a little inspection here. When I did the last video, I had to, the vertical planes were not sitting on the horizontal flat um, flat plane. So, do a little inspection, making sure that everything is now sitting where I need it to be. And it appears so. So, now let's go ahead. Uh, we've done the cursor inspection. Bring up our display options. Go into the back. back Drops tab, presets, load backdrops, which will take us to our uh, CFG file that we had before. Voila. All right, so now we are ready to begin making our spline cage. Now, when you're doing a spline cage, it's if you start off, you're just going to start clicking and trying to get as much detail in as possible. Right now, the only thing we're worried about is form. Okay, so it doesn't have to be exact. Another thing we need to be aware of is when we're doing our spline cage, we're trying to get things in fours because we're going to sub patch our spline cage um, to put polygons in it. So we want to be aware of that when we're um, um, starting. Now, when I do my main uh, spline cage, I like to use the be uh, Bezier tool because I have more control and I don't have to have all kinds of um, uh, segments in it. Right now, I'm just going for 16 segment. That's the default. It's fine for um, what I'm doing. So we're going to start at the side image of the car. And we're going to, this is going to be the actual spine of our car so when you first make your first click you're gonna get a straight line there's a handles in there we're just pull the handles if you have never used the bezier tool this is basically how how it's used there's handles in between anything that you when you click I'm an outside the the guy the line type of guy so I'm trying to stay around the edge so when I click up into this corner here where the windshield hits Voila, another handle. Now, when you add segments with the Bezier tool, it may affect, um, well, you're gonna have to go back to the previous and mess with those handles a little bit. It's not like the um, spline draw tool, which we will be using later. I just like this because I have, the Bezier tool because I have the, my segment set up so that I have a decent amount of uh, control over um, what that cage is gonna look like. At least the spine. And so, yeah, I should probably mention. So, you know, if I were to use the spline draw tool, I would have had to have uh, three points. Basically, a point um, guiding me into that corner, a point at the corner, and then a, a point guiding me out of that corner. With the Bezier tool, I just click once and move my handles um, accordingly, and I uh, minimize the amount of stuff that I need, the amount of. Uh, clicks that I have to have but again this is all personal preference you don't have to you can use any tools that you want to draw I used to get caught up in oh man that's how they did it so I better copy this no use the tools that you feel comfortable with and as long as you get the same result I mean I mean I have an engineering background and everything is process driven um, this is art. You're creating. You're doing your own creation. So follow what feels good to you. All right. So I did actually was trying to grab the handle, missed my mark, cl clicked clearly outside of the handle. So I'm just going to take this that point and just drag it away. Go ahead and make my adjustments. There we go. 
I'm going to keep some, somewhat smooth. All right, so we're going to click our next point. Now, something to be aware of is now we've got a nice loop. So let's try to drag it out. Oh, I can't drag it out. <laughs> I'm going to find that happens. It'll happen sometimes. So basically just grab the handles, straighten everything out. The loop is gone. No big deal. And again, like I said, the only thing we're doing here is we're creating form. We're not trying to put any detail. We just want a, a rough curve of, of our vehicle. Just an outline. Because a lot of this detail we're going to be adding later anyway, so. Of course. Duh. All right, we're almost there. Getting her to pull her handle out a little bit. We're not, we're not trying to bring in all this detail, we're just doing a cage here. point here. Let's bring that handle up, line it up. And those are the 16 segments I was talking about. You can see them. But no big deal. We won't be using them anyway. So, so we're going to hit enter, accept the tool. Or yes, in this case it's not a tool. It is the Poly cage or polygon. Also, be observed that I'm drawing um, this blank cage in the second um, layer, where I have the um, perspective images in the first layer. So right now it looks like nothing. I have a basic outline. So now we're going to add some depth. So the first thing I like to do is I can use the Bezier, the Bezier tool this time. We're going to use the spline draw tool. Spline cage doesn't get you anywhere. Not in this case. I'll show you how to use that later. Spline draw. There we go. Now, most times you just say, all right, I'm just going to draw from point all the way down the side of the car to the end point. But I s I'm trying to remind you that we can't just draw like that because we need to um, think about how we're going to make our, our patches. And so uh, I'm cognizant of, wait, if I do that, I'm not going to be able to um, create my four-sided um, cages. So I'm just going to start here at the um, front wheel wheel well. This blind draw tool, just like the Bezier tool. The first point goes fine. The next point, it's going to be a straight line, and you won't get your curve in the first segment until you click your third point. Now we can start. We've got a nice curve here. And we can start pulling this stuff around to um, approximate our wheel well. And you know how exact the more segments you have, the more exact you're going to be able to, to be, like with you know any tool. Like I said, I'm just trying to pro approximate. We'll get into tweaking and stuff later. Like I said, right now we're just creating form. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's close enough. I got some spaces there. Move stuff around. 